Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna compare two budget smartphones, the Redmi 6 Pro with the Infinix Note 5. So these are uh, two devices which are below the 12K price segment in India uh, with the Infinix uh, Note 5 price starting at uh, 999 while uh, the Redmi 6 Pro starts at 999. So these two devices have uh, quite a lot of similarities both come in 3GB RAM and 32GB storage as well as 4GB RAM and 64GB storage both are large capacity batteries and uh, have good camera optics as well. So in this video let's uh, see which is better in this price segment. So let's get started. First step, let's have a look at the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see the, uh, the evident difference between these two devices is that uh, Redmi 6 Pro has this notch display. So if you are a person who likes the notch, then the Redmi 6 Pro provides that. While uh, the Infinix Note 5 is uh, 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, but the traditional design, you have the bezels on the top and the bottom panel and uh, there is no notch included. So you get uh, uh, the notchless display on uh, uh, the Infinix Note 5 while we have the notch display on the Redmi 6 Pro. Now moving on to the back panel. So this is one area where there is a major difference. You can see the Infinix Note 5 is made of plastic but it has a glass finish on the back panel while we have the metal construction on the Redmi 6 Pro. And uh, both are quite good in terms of uh, the finishing. Uh, we have the blue color which actually looks really great. And uh, we have uh, metal construction on the Redmi 6 Pro. Both are good. Uh, if you are a person who uh, likes a solid build then probably uh, the Redmi 6 Pro with metal construction feels a bit more uh, sturdy. But uh, if looks matter then uh, the Infinix Note 5 is definitely a good option with a mirror-like glass finishing. Now uh, Redmi 6 Pro has a dual camera setup on the back panel and also the fingerprint scanner while the Infinix Note 5 has a, a single camera and the Infinix branding and the fingerprint scanner. So design wise you can see both these devices are good and uh, build quality again uh, Redmi 6 Pro has an edge because of uh, uh, the metal construction but you can see that the display size is larger here on the Infinix Note 5 making the display uh, even better if you are a person who loves to watch a lot of movies and uh, multimedia content. So that's the design and build quality now moving on to the display. So the Redmi 6 Pro comes with a, a notch display and 5.84 inches screen size while we have 5.9 inches uh, full HD plus resolution display without the notch and 18 is to 9 aspect ratio on the Infinix Note 5. While the display quality is full HD plus on both these devices you can see that viewing angles and uh, uh, color quality and touch response feels quite uh, similar on both these devices. There is no major difference here. Neither of them offer any sort of protection and the display quality as such looks uh, pretty good. So you have to make a choice whether you want a compact device with smaller display and if you are a person who watches a lot of movies then the larger display makes sense so that's a personal choice so uh, display wise both these devices are pretty good now let's move on to the software so this is one area where there is a major difference between these two devices we have the uh, uh, MIUI 9.6 on uh, the Redmi 6 Pro this is a customized UI while we have the Android 1 platform with Android 8.1 on the Infinix Note 5. So we all know that uh, the MIUI is a customized UI with offering lots of additional features including dual apps, app lock, wire fingerprint scanner, theme support second space and whole lot of features are included and it offers lots of customizations as well. So if you're a person who likes a lot of customizations our choice would be uh, the MIUI but if you're a person who loves stock Android and want updates on a priority basis then uh, uh, the Infinix Note 5 offers that with under the Android 1 platform it has a stock Android. So that again is a personal choice whether you want a customized UI or the, uh, the stock Android on the Infinix Note 5. Now moving on to the performance, so we have the Snapdragon 625 Octago chipset on the Redmi 6 Pro while we have the Helio P23 chipset on the Infinix Note 5. Both have 3GB RAM variant and 4GB uh, RAM variant. So we are testing the 3GB RAM variant of both these devices and the performance as such looks pretty good and almost similar on both these devices. You can see that Helio P23 is almost as good as uh, the Snapdragon 625 in terms of the performance but when it comes to gaming that's where the 625 has an edge with better GPU and uh, the GPU performance is better on the Snapdragon 625 and you can see that the games loaded and performed much better on the Redmi 6 Pro when compared to the Infinix Note 5. Now uh, that was the performance aspect. Now both the devices have dual SIM cards and 4G LTE and Volte support. Have a uh, dual Volte support on the Infinix Note 5 while uh, the Redmi 6 uh, Pro does not have dual Volte support. It has just single Volte and uh, the second SIM card is 3G. So that's another uh, issue with the Redmi 6 Pro. Now let's move on to the cameras. So we have a, a dual camera setup on the Redmi 6 Pro with a 12 and 5 megapixel camera combination LED flash while we have 
a 12 megapixel camera on the Infinix Note 5. On the front panel, we have a 5 megapixel shooter on the Redmi 6 Pro, while we have a 16 megapixel shooter on the Infinix Note 5. Now, talking about the rear camera performance, uh, you can see that both these devices are quite similar in terms of performance. Color quality looks quite okay. In fact, the Infinix Note 5 has a light edge in terms of the color reproduction. And uh, when it comes to portrait mode, that's where uh, the Redmi 6 Pro with a dual camera setup uh, works much better than the Infinix Note 5. So overall, in terms of camera performance, we can't say with a rear camera, one is better than the other, but uh, both have quite good uh, performance for the price segment it is being offered. Now, the front camera performance is better on the Infinix Note 5 with 16 megapixel shooter, providing good selfie experience, while uh, on the Redmi 6 Pro with the 5 megapixel shooter, it's quite average. So that was the camera aspect of these two devices. Now moving on to the battery. So we have a 4000 mAh capacity battery on the Redmi 6 Pro, while we have 4500 mAh capacity battery on the Infinix Note 5. It also has an 18 watt charger, while we have a standard 10 watt charger on the Redmi 6 Pro. So battery life is definitely better on the Infinix Note 5 with a high capacity battery and better screen on time. So that was the detailed uh, comparison of these two devices. So which is better device to buy here? So Redmi 6 Pro has the advantage that it is pretty compact device if you love the notch it has a notch display and it is a customizable software and good battery life and uh, pretty good cameras as well. The disappointing aspect is that uh, Snapdragon 625 is quite an old chipset and also there is no dual voltage support on this device. Uh, now coming to uh, the Infinix Note 5, it is priced cheaper, it has good displays, good uh, build quality, stock Android experience under the Android 1 platform. Uh, then uh, quite good performance all around, good set of cameras and, and good uh, battery life as well. So overall looking at uh, the various aspects, we feel the Infinix Note 5 definitely makes a good uh, device to buy in this price segment with uh, cheaper options and uh, slightly better overall battery life and uh, overall experience as well with stock Android. So that was a detailed comparison of the Redmi 6 Pro with uh, the Infinix Note 5. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. This is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.